Hi, Hi Jerome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, to start, Peter, what I really love about this show in particular is like I'm a big The Astronauts Wife fan, and I love when you take someone who has been to space and put them into a mystery when they get kind of back down on Earth. And so for you, writing this story that is a psychological thriller, has so many mystery elements, what was the fun of getting to craft a story like this for TV? I mean, the fun um, was working out how it all joins together, basically. I, I mean, I, I, uh, I started out, the, you know, the initial germ of the idea was was uh, like a spooky thing that happened to me once when I was staying in a in a cabin in the woods in in Sweden, and um, and every night there there was this little girl calling Mama in the forest. And uh, and we could never work out where she was or if she existed or or, or you know who she was, and uh, and so I, I often thought about her. And then um, and then when when I was asked whether I'd like to write something about astronauts, um, you know I've always been I've I've always been fascinated by the kind of over uh, the overview effects of uh, what happens, what shifts in your brain when you look back. At the Earth, and um, how that can disconnect you from <clears throat> from reality, basically. Um, and uh, so these two these two kind of environments of uh, being trapped up in space, and, and a mother reaching out for her daughter, and a and a little girl lost in the forest reaching out for her mother, just kind of collided. And then that was the emotional through line of the story, and everything just kind of <clears throat> excuse me, everything just. Uh, joined on top of that basically and <coughs> sorry Mich I'm off. Um, I'm Michelle one. to go off of that like uh, mystery only works so well when it comes off the page if a director also really understands kind of what works in those elements and so for you what was kind of your approach to making sure that that, that tension and that fear and like us trying to understand it as the audience came across so well in Constellations well, thank you. Um, first, it's it's the actors who are amazing, who did wonderful performances. And I think for me, I always try to put the audience into the character's head. So subjective storytelling, make you feel like you are on the ISS, trapped there, or whatever the, the emotion of the scene is and wherever you are. And I think in this case, making you feel the angst and the tension that Numi or that Joe feels when she's trapped there is really important. So a lot of that, it was very intimately shot. And then we jump out wide to give you a sense of geography and the loneliness. And then sometimes a sense of voyeurism, a sense that somebody's watching. And uh, ultimately, what our intention is, is, is somebody watching from another reality? And there's actually, the, the stories are very intertwined between the episodes, and so we're setting up certain things in the beginning that pay off later. And there's some setups where you might think now it's an objective angle, and you're gonna find out later it's actually somebody's point of view. So, um, but I think really just having the, the audience, having you feel like you're with the characters and understanding what they're experiencing, to me is, is the key for creating that, that tension. Yeah, and I also like how in the midst of this mystery, like you were, never would I go back to that cabin with a little girl just yelling mama in the woods. <laughs> but I do like that this show does have those like family drama elements mm -hmm. in the midst of kind of this bigger story going on. Was it always important for both of you to make sure that those family elements really work for the audience? So when we're watching it, we're invested in them. Well, I think that I mean that's the that's the key to it, uh, really. I I think um, as long as you're telling a story which is um, grounded, and uh, even if uh, you know even if most people don't spend a year in space, everybody knows what it's like to be a child and what it's like uh, you you know to um, uh, to 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 miss your parents and many people know what it's like to be uh, to be a parent of a child and um, experience those anxieties and I think it's 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 really important for me even if what we're showing is like an uncommon experience to 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 have an obvious emotional parallel that people can relate to and I think if if you do that and the rest of the storytelling you know particularly kind of in the detail of the ISS and things is very real and grounded and authentic, then I think you give yourself permission and you, you know, build enough trust with the audience to 
to do weird and wonderful and and spooky things um you know which uh, which still kind of hit you uh, you know hit you in the gut I, I couldn't agree more, and, and I think that, um, as Peter said, it was really important for us to make it very grounded in reality as much as possible, and make it relatable. And first and foremost, Joe's a mom who happens to be an astronaut. So when we first meet her on the ISS, she's talking to her daughter about is she brushing her teeth, something I say, ask my daughter every morning, and, but she happens to be floating through the ISS. And I, there's, there's very subtle moments that are really key moments that are really important. One of my favorites is when Magnus uh, is at the landing site and he goes to hug Joe, or she reaches for his hand, and he's surprised that she reaches for it. And he gives her a very awkward hug, and he says, thank you. And it's it's a weird connection for them. And that's a key that, that, that you know, hopefully people go, that's a bit odd. And it is part of the mystery. And I think those re very relatable moments, those very human moments are, is, is what, pulls you into to the story. Yeah, definitely. Thank you guys so much for talking with me today. I really appreciate it. And I can't wait for people to get to see Constellation. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. I love the Mary Sue. It's a great website. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Have nice a great to meet one. you.